Hey guys, we are going to be talking about the cell cycle today and how the cell cycle is controlled. Uh, so the cell cycle consists of four different phases. You can see them here in this diagram. Um, in general, the first three phases are considered interphase, and this is when the cell is essentially just um, growing, replicating its DNA, and getting ready for division. So the first part of that is G1 phase, or the first gap phase. Then we have S phase, uh, or the synthesis phase. And then finally, G2, or second gap phase, is the last part of interphase. And then the cell will move into what's called M phase, and this is where cell division takes place. So again, we're starting with G1. All right, I like to call this the grow phase. So this is when the cell is growing. It's increasing in size. It's going to make new proteins and organelles and just go about its regular sort of daily life. Then we have S phase. And during S phase, this is when the chromosomes are replicated and DNA synthesis takes place. So the DNA is going to copy itself during S phase. And once a cell enters S phase, it's usually going to complete the rest of the cell cycle. After S phase, uh, the cell will move into G2 phase, or again, the second gap phase. Um, this is when organelles and molecules that are required for cell division are going to be made or produced. And once the second gap phase is complete, then the cell is ready to move into M phase or mitosis. And again, this is where the cell is going to start to divide. And mitosis, we're going to kind of zoom in here in a second, is the first step of cell division. So mitosis is when the DNA is going to be evenly divided and the nucleus is going to split into two identical nuclei um, and each new nuclei is going to contain a full set of DNA. And that's immediately followed by cytokinesis, which is when the cytoplasm of the cell is going to split in half. So we're going to look at mitosis and cytokinesis together. Um, so we're going to start here. We have a cell that is in interphase. Um, we can tell it's an interphase because you can see the nucleus and you can't see any chromosomes within the nucleus. So a cell in interphase is going to uh, move into M phase and the very first thing that's going to happen is the DNA is going to condense into chromosomes, that nucleus is going to start to break down. You're going to then see the chromosomes line up along the center of the cell. And once they're there, those chromosomes are then going to get pulled to opposite sides of the cell. When they get pulled to, new, to the new ends or the opposite sides of the cell, you're going to have two new nuclei form. Those nuclei, nuclei are going to contain identical uh, sets of DNA. And so finally, I know I'm kind of blocking the bottom part of the text here, but the cytoplasm is then going to split. When the cytoplasm splits and you have the two new nuclei, you are essentially now forming two identical daughter cells. So you're going to have two cells that are completely identical to each other. Uh, the cytoplasm is split in half. Two new nuclei are formed. Each nucleus contains a full set of that cell's DNA. So now, why do we need the cell cycle? It's super important for lots of reasons. Number one, it allows for growth and reproduction. Uh, it's really important for replacing dead or damaged cells. We've talked in class about, uh, especially humans specifically, how many skin cells we lose. Uh, replacing those is super important, obviously we need our skin, uh, but it's also important for things like healing injuries and wounds. So let's say you get a bad cut or even something as small as a paper cut, which we all know can be super painful, uh, that paper cut is going to get healed because your cells are going to divide to close the wound. If we are unfortunate enough to break a bone, again that uh, break is going to heal because of cell division, it's going to uh, cause the bone to grow back together. So now what happens when the cell cycle isn't regulated? Well, we can end up with something called cancer, and this is when cells grow and divide too quickly, and you can end up with tumors forming. So here you can see you've got a bunch of normal cells on either side of this big blue bunch, and these normal cells are in a pretty orderly fashion. They're in nice rows, they're organized nicely, and then you've got this big group in the center, and this is a tumor forming. And so you end up with cells that are growing and dividing too quickly. They run out of room and they form a tumor. So we're going to do a quick check. Um, I want you guys to answer these five questions. Uh, number one, what is the purpose of the cell cycle? Number two, what happens during G1 phase? And then what about S phase and G2 phase? Uh, question number three, how many cells are formed at the end of M phase? So think of the end of mitosis and cytokinesis. What type of cells are formed? And then your final question says, what happens when the cell cycle isn't properly regulated? So please jot out some answers to those questions and we'll talk about them later. Thanks guys.